So we've got this power meter uh, linked up to the wind turbine. So when there's nothing connected to the right hand side of the meter there, uh, it will show you the voltage coming from the turbine, but it won't show it won't show any amps. Okay, when I connect this wire here, it will then start showing how many amps it's making. Unfortunately, the, the turbine just isn't providing enough power to run directly off the uh, turbine because as you'll see, it will just slow the turbine down and then it will stop. So I'm going to plug it in now. See the wattage go up and the voltage start coming down quickly and then the turbine is basically fighting a losing battle. Now I've taken the load off, you'll see the voltage should start to come back up. Let it go as high as I think it's going to go, which might be 40 perhaps. Plug in again, same thing will happen as 41. And just see that this thing will go off at about 8 volts, so it's just constantly fighting a losing battle. Oh, it's trying. No, it's not going to be able to do it. If you saw that. So what I was trying to suss out with these 24 volt relay timers is how I could have something that would come on for a few seconds and then go off for a few seconds. See the amps are still coming in, but it just the turbine at the low voltage. Oh, that's the first time I saw it go up for a, a second. This is something else I want to show you, which is how I think some people can claim a higher maximum output power than is realistically possible because at the moment you see the turbine's running free and uh, it's not connected to anything. When I connect it to the batteries, if it's running considerably higher than 24 volts, it should output an unrealistic uh, figure in amp. Incidentally, on the subject of watt meters, this watt meter I found to be a lot more powerful than the other little blue metallic ones. So I've definitely made a few mess ups with this and it it's still going strong. So if, if I wait till we get a bit more juice. Whoa. See there when that went to 435 volts because it disconnected and reconnected again. Should be using more heavy duty wire than this, but so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to plug in a dump load and see what starts happening to the battery. That's one end. Gonna go and fill this up with water. Oh, we've got some heat for sure. Although the voltage of the battery is going down. Leave that on a minute, see what happens.
of bubbles coming up from the angle, so it's doing something. In minutes it's taken to get it out. I say it's about 75 degrees, but you can see as there's less power come less power coming in, the battery voltage is going down. So yeah, that's that. This is another way you can use one of these meters, and that's instead of having it between the turbine and the batteries, I've got it in between the batteries, they're connected to the source, and then we've got the dump load there. So all that's going to show us, it's showing us the voltage of the battery, the 25.2, and then it's showing us how much wattage the dump load is using, which is 12.2 uh, amps. So I just thought I'd show you that's another way you can use the watt meter. Alright, so it's connected to the dump load from the batteries. Peace!